Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we are working in grade 5 in module 5 in lesson number 8 and that means that today we are applying concepts and formulas of volume to design a sculpture using rectangular prisms with given parameters. So this is just a complicated way of saying that we're going to create some shapes based on some criteria that they're going to give us ahead of time. So let's take a look at one of our problems from tonight's homework. And really, there's only two problems on tonight's homework, and problem one is multi-part. So I'm only just going to do, I'm just going to do one part of problem number one. So let's take a look at problem number one and read the directions. I have a prism with the dimensions 6 centimeters by 12 centimeters by 15 centimeters. Calculate the volume of the prism, and then give the dimensions of three different prisms that each have one-third of the volume. Hmm. Okay, well, let's see. Let's do the simple part first, right? Let us figure out the volume of this original prism. Six centimeters by 12 centimeters by 15 centimeters. I'm going to do that over here on the side. So that's six centimeters times 12 centimeters times 15 centimeters. Okay, uh, so see, six times 12 is 72 square centimeters times 15 centimeters. I'm going to have to do that 72 times 15 here on the side. Let's see. 5 times 2 is 10. I'll record that under. 5 times 7 tens is 35 tens plus one more is 36 tens. And let's see. 1 ten times 2 is 2 tens. And 1 ten times 7 tens is 700. And if I add those partial products, I think I'm going to get 0, 8, 1, 0. So that's going to be 1,080 cubic centimeters. Okay. Now, we could approach this a whole bunch of different ways. I'm going to actually draw mine, I think. Let's see. Uh, let's imagine that we had this as a length of 6 and a width of 12. It goes way back, right, and a height of 15, so it's really tall. Awesome. I'm going to intrude into my, into my drawing here. So this is 6 by 12 by 15, right? So that's how big our rectangular prism is. And now the question they're asking is, let's see, come up with one with another prism that is one-third of the volume. Well, you know, it occurs to me, like, I, I'm sorry, I'm always thinking cake, right? It occurs to me that if we cut this up into three layers, right, if we cut this cake into three layers and we just grabbed this bottom third, that prism would, be, would have one-third of the volume of the other one. Let's see. And the, the best part of it is it, we already have the length, right? That's six, six centimeters. We already have the width. That's 12 centimeters. We already have those. And I think we can really easily figure out the height, right? This was 15 centimeters, and we cut it into three equal slices, so that must be five and five and five. So I think this must be five centimeters. And just to test that out, I'm going to go ahead and give myself a little bit of extra working room. Right? So 6 times 12 times 5, let's see, I'm going to multiply the 6 and the 5 together first, and that's 30 times 12, 30 times 12, that's 36 times 10, or 360, 360 cubic centimeters. And you know what? I'm not 100% sure, but I bet that's a third, right? Let's see, if we did 360 times 3... 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 more is 10. Sure enough, there we go. So I think that our, the, the fact that we've worked with this as a sort of cake model before really helps us out because we don't have to go hunting around for a 360 cubic centimeter uh, uh, rectangular prism. We can just take the prism that we had, chop it into three equal layers, 1, 2, 3, and then we already have two of the three measurements. Two of the measurements stay the same, and the third measurement just goes down by two-thirds, right? We just have one-third of what it used to be, the one-third of the height it used to be, and we're going to end up with our volume that is one-third of the overall volume. Armed with that, I don't see that you're going to have any trouble trying to figure out another, a second and a third prism that are exactly one-third of this original prism. Um, you can use my strategy, but feel free to use a different strategy. Go ahead and, uh, and pick... 360 cubic centimeters, and go ahead and come up with your own way of getting a length, a width, and a height that will multiply up to 360 cubic centimeters. Okay? Well, there's only one other problem on tonight's homework, and I'm not going to rob you of both of them, so that leaves it to you. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Take care.